Hey guys, welcome back. This is, it might be an important video for some of you. You might be able to tell that I'm using profit charts and I could very well be one of the last people on the planet that has access to profit charts. Uh, profit charts is or was part of TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform. And if anybody has used profit charts for any amount of time, you know this is the best charting platform out there. And if you have used it, it's probably gone and you don't have access to it. I have found an alternative to profit charts and I'll get to that in a minute. Those of you who have not used profit charts, I'm gonna show you what made this so special. And those of you who have, have used profit charts, you may not use it the same way I do, but I'm gonna show you the things that were important to me. And foremost, what's important to me, and you might see it here, is having all the freaking data. Here's another cool thing, you've already seen me doing it. I can zoom in at wherever my mouse is at. So at a glance, I can zoom in to look at a specific point in time. So I can look at the max chart, and within less than a second, I'm looking at the single most current day's candle. One day candle, boom, maximum chart. You can't do that with anything else. So this is nice to have this as a side-by-side -side comparison to what I'm gonna show you here in a little bit, the alternative to profit charts. Another thing that's very, very important to me, when I click on a trend line, it tells me what kind of annual return I can expect. Over the long run, I can expect about an 11.3 annual return. So those two things are the most important to me having all of that historical data and being able to click on a trend line and see what kind of annual return I can expect. And this is what I found to be the best alternative to profit charts. It's tradingview.com. And they have a free charting platform. They also have a paid charting platform with a lot of extra features. But the free charting platform is actually quite good. So this is how it looks when you first open up the site this is what you get and there's a lot of information here most of this stuff i don't need but it's it's nice to have so let's go ahead and sign in and look at my charts yeah i've got it laid out and the background and the color scheme to match the profit charts of how i'm used to using it and that's to prevent eye strain if you're looking at charts all day long uh, the last thing you want is eye strain and fatigue from uh, doing your work. So you can see me zooming in and out, and it does do that, similar to profit charts, but it only zooms in and out on the right side of the chart. You can see that right now. Or profit charts, it will zoom in to wherever your cursor is. Trading view is not like that. If I hold my cursor here to the left end of the chart, it still zooms in on the right side of the chart. I can deal with that. I mean, if I want to look close at the left side, I have to drag this over to the right side. And now I can zoom in. So at least I can do that. And why would you want to do that? Well, say right here in this instance, if I want to drop a trend line at the lowest point on the left side of the chart, I want to zoom in there and do that. Now, you may have noticed that the candles are looking different. I've got this set to one month candles, which is not a big deal. When I'm looking at a maximum chart, it's not that important to have day candles. The downside of trading view is if I am in day candle mode, I can only zoom back so far. So I hear I'm in day candle mode and it'll only let me go back to 2005. I can't zoom out anymore to look at that whole chart. I mean, I can drag over to the left. I can keep dragging, go to the left side of the chart, but I, I still can't zoom out and see the whole chart. So that's, that's kind of a, I don't know, what would you call that? It's a letdown. It's, uh, it's, it slows me down a little bit. So if I'm looking at overall, I have to go to a one-month candle, and then I can look at the whole chart. Still gives me the same idea. It still lets me know 
what this stock looked like over the past several decades. Now, when you click on the trend line, nowhere does it give you an annual percentage return. All it does is give you the dollar return and it gives you the percentage return between two points. Well, I have found a neat little workaround. So I'm gonna drop a little trend line right here. So I'm gonna double click that and bring up the coordinates. The left side of the line, I'm gonna put zero bars. And over here is 12 bars. So right away, this is a exactly one year trend line. So all I have to do now is match that angle. So right here, that's 22%. So all I do is I just drag this around until it matches 22%. And right there is my approximate annual return. Now we can see it's different. It's about 1% one, uh, 1 off. The reason being, even though this trend is adjusted for dividends and is also in logarithmic scale, this is adjusted for dividends, but we've got the stock split. So I don't think that uh, uh, TradingView is adjusting its, its chart for stock splits. And here's showing a stock split, and it's only showing one, but even though on uh, history, I'm showing one, two, three, four, five, that's what I can see here, five stock splits on uh, profit charts. So I think that's where the discrepancy is coming from. But it's not that big of a deal. I am just wanting uh, kind of an idea of the percent return. So I can deal with that uh, 1% uh, difference there. So in my opinion, TradingView not only is a good alternative to uh, profit charts, this has way more features and has way more data and is way more usable than anything else I've seen out there. So hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. And uh, I think this is awesome that this allows me to keep trading. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will catch you later. Have a good one.